I wonder, I'd want to ask, does something have to, does my, does something have to dissemble, does something have to break down in order for me to, to find something uh, else? I'm scared of that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, there is no, there is no um, conditions that you have to fulfill. Because what I'm pointing to is what you are already. It's not on the other side of an obstacle to be gained. It's not a bargain, it's not a trade, it's not that, okay, fine, listen, life is not saying, hand over your sweeties <laughs> in exchange. <laughs> not getting them. <laughs> well, then you surprise me in saying that. You see, because it, it it's what, good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> yes. Well, well the attitude, the because I'm sometimes maybe your own clinging, the sense of the clinging, even to be honest with you, that which is clinging to life is also not you. Okay. Funny, but that which is clinging is, uh, is your, the idea you have of who you are, is clinging. You are uh, perfectly pure. All is this. You have to awaken to this truth, to see, to recognize what you are already, not you are going to develop, or to become, or to create. You are finding that which is even before the created. So, this feeling, you know, I'm so, you know, attached to my sense of who I am, hmm? then I'm saying to you that even this you are not. Even the one who is saying, I am so afraid to lose who I am, is also just a thought. It's worth saying again. <laughs> <laughs> the one who is saying, yes, but you know, I can't make such a sacrifice. I know it seems like for something as great as awakening or enlightenment, I have to hand over all that I've come to love about who I am, what I am. And it seems like a very huge sacrifice to ask, and who wants it? Because what you're talking about is what's unknown presently to me. Why should I swap what is so familiar and I'm so sitting right in my life uh, for the unknown, which maybe I don't like? And then I, I give away myself, and then I've lost it, and then I've found that what I've surrendered to is not what I want, and then this is mine for you, is it? It is, and do, and is it, yeah. <clears throat> is the plan to try and cool this down, just cool it down? Yeah. I'm, you know, I, I, I try, I, I try to let go of strategizing, but I'm strategizing the whole time, I'm trying to work out the next right What right is move. strategizing is not you, it's your mind. <laughs> the mind is the root, the home of strategies, the factory of strategies. And I'd like to know how to cool the, just put them away for a while, you know, file them away. So I, I know, uh, you know, it's just. And a, this eye is I call also. It it's this eye is also mind. Mm. Mm. The eye who is presently seeming such a strong identification. I really would like to put all of this aside. I'm really, you know, <laughs> tired of this part of my mind. This is also mind. So how do I clear the clutter? <laughs> that which is aware of even that which says, how can I clear the clutter? That itself is not cluttered. The awareness is not cluttered. You may feel that this is just too, this is too big a step to make, but that's also a thought arising in the same awareness which is eternal and infinite. As soon as the consciousness come, consciousness comes in, like in the waking state, we started talking about this, as soon as waking state is present, somehow soon after the sense of I comes. When I comes, then somehow time come, you come, world comes, job comes, yesterday and tomorrow come, all of this comes in, you see? And it's functioning for the I, the me. I must do this, I must do that, I love this, I don't, li I don't like this, all of this comes in with the waking state. 
it's like a package deal. It comes in as soon as the consciousness is present. This functioning of an experiencer, what is being experienced, and the very function of experiencing, the very act of experiencing, all of this is the play of consciousness. I don't know if this is making sense. It is like this. This is what is happening. You are the witness of this consciousness, but also you, the watching consciousness, is also in this form. This consciousness is in this form. When you say I, I actually represents consciousness. The significance of I is consciousness. But I has become person mm. by associating with time and space, parents, country, body, s senses. Mm. So the I, which is pure, gets mm. converted somehow into this belief that it's a particular person from a particular place with particular ideals and so on, you see. So it gets more and more fragmented, this I, which is quite, it's a unity. Mm. This intuition, this feeling, I am. So is, the, is it about bringing, recognizing these disparate parts and just c keep placing and replacing and replacing? It's it by understanding that you are the awareness. And all of this is happening through consciousness and the body, this playing, this. It's not a. Hmm. Because you see, in some way, <coughs> something wants to do something here. Mm. I'm first trying to get you to really understand something. And in the, out of the understanding will come everything else. You're paying attention to the movement and saying, how can I pacify these movements? Mm. I'm saying, well, <coughs> even the one itself who is reacting to the movement is also thought-based. It's just your idea of yourself that is reacting like this. The reactions can go like this. It seems it's very difficult to, to accept this statement mm. because we are so much in the sense that we are doers of our life that, please, tell me the trick. What must I do? What must I do? This is the mantra of the mind. What must I do?